What is that, my people? R.C. Rollins is in the building. Let's talk about him. The great, late, marvelous Marvin Hagler. I wanted to make a video because even though I'm not... Sorry about that. Even though I'm not from that age group, I was not born in the 80s. I still love watching me some old boxing. Boxing, pure boxing. Boxing with heart and soul. Boxing with anger. Boxing that there is no divas. No, I'm the A-side bullshit. That we see these years. You see when they call them the four kings. They meant that's the four kings. Sugar Ray Leonard. Marvis. Marvelous. Marvin Hagler. Thomas the Hitman Hearns. And Roberto. El Mano de Piedra. Duran. Now. This Saturday when I was telling you I was celebrating. That I was celebrating one of the best fights that I've seen. Celebrating my goddaughter's birthday. Celebrating that I have a new weekend off so that I can actually watch some British boxing, Asian boxing, Australian boxing, the World Cup when it comes up. Anything that's on the out seas where it's going to be like 11 in the morning and stuff like that. No football though, because it's on Sundays. Some basketball. But in that particular moment, I have a new friend who's almost like a hardcore boxing fan like myself. Shout out to Eric, my new buddy, buddy. He asked me, what fight got you into boxing? Like, what hyped you up? And I couldn't really give him an answer. I can say that fights like Estrada versus Chocolatito is what makes me love boxing. Even though we get those like, what? Every other three years. Cepeda versus Baranchik Made me love it as well. Two unknown fighters. Who are in the top ten. Of the light welterweight division. But. When I was hearing the comparisons. Between Triple G and Canelo. Back. In what was it 2016. When I said this is going to be another Hearns Hagler. I had to check it out. I'm like. Because at that back in the day, I was a casual, you know, five five years ago, I was a casual. My God, if I can say a fight got me to love boxing, Hagler versus Hearns. Not only is round one the best round that I've ever seen in my life, almost had with a Zapella Baranchik because that was non-stop. It's just that these were two a-side fighters and then when I mean A-side these are guys who are champions who put everything on the table and goodness gracious what a fight three rounds of non-stop action zero defense if you want to fall in love with boxing that's the fight to see he switched his name from Marvin Hagler to Marvelous Marvin Hagler. How sick is that? What people don't understand that Marvin Hagler, marvelous Marvin Hagler is that he was the Mike Tyson of the 80s. Everyone feared him, except he was not a heavyweight. He was a middleweight. And he was a bad mother lover. Punching hard. Strong fighter. I would say he would knock not, not knock But I would say I would say yes Because of the way that Fighters back in the day are At middleweight He would beat the shit Out of Canelo And Triple G I said it And I will say 99% of people Would agree with me People who love boxing Not just casuals Who don't understand The 15 rounds Who don't understand Fighting for love Who don't understand Fighting with strength Who don't understand the no divas back in the day. When he fought Roberto Duran, 
Another great fight. He had many great fights. And of course, what everybody wants to hear is the Sugar Ray Leonard. Now, I haven't rewatched that fight. I should have. So I can get you a better review of that fight, which I'm probably not going to even give you a review, just my thoughts. Now that I understand boxing more, now that I understand how to score by judges, body punching, movements, all that, I'm going to rewatch it and maybe I will review it. But as of now, it's too close to call. So I always said that it was a draw to me. But again, I want to rewatch it and then I'll tell you a real answer. All I know is that that's another great fight. It was a fluid fighter versus a stone fighter. And the fluid fighter became the stone fighter and brought the fight to Hagler. Sugar Ray Leonard is one of the greatest boxers out there. But even myself think that Hagler just being a middleweight champion with what was it, 13, 13 defenses really brought his A game and can honestly say that he won because it was too close to call. Just like the Strada Chocolatito. And like I said, I want to rewatch it. It's just that, again, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this great boxer was that he's the one who made me fall in love with boxing. Even though I was not born in the 1980s, even though I didn't see that fight live, it's just that when you see a fight and it's a fight, it doesn't matter what year it is. It doesn't matter who it is. It matters what makes you love it. And that fight made me love boxing. And that's when I'm like, I want to see fights like this. And that's why I get excited when it's a 50-50 fight. They're all champions. And you don't know where to go. Or you love one, but you know that the other one's a better fighter. But you still know that it's a 50-50 fight. Marvin Hagler will be missed. He passed away at 66. He passed away on Saturday. He gave me great memories for boxing. And of course, that's a badass name. Marvelous. Marvelous! I'm going to give you guys um, 10 seconds of silence for this great legend. I don't have the bell with me, so I cannot give you that. All right, mi gente, you know what to do. And remembers of him, put a like, comment, and absolutely subscribe.